Good evening everyone, my name is Crystal, welcome to my YouTube channel, it is Saturday evening, good evening, um, if you like my videos please um, smash that like button, please do subscribe, it's 8.21 in the evening, 21 minutes past 8pm, um, I've put a video up of me walking outside this evening, um, I live by myself. If I did happen to get sick outside, I would be completely on my own. But I do have a dog, I do have a mobile, and I do have a panic alarm. <laughs> so there we go, that's something. So, I note and jot things down what happens during the day so I've got a reference to go back to things in case I need to um, around 7 o'clock it was it hit 7.50 I went so I was playing Scrabble Go on my phone I play Scrabble Go um, there's a guy called Charles B playing me and several other people and um, I love Scrabble games, I play it on my Alexa and I play it on my phone. If you live by yourself, like I do, and I can go weeks, weeks without seeing somebody or talking to somebody, sometimes, um, you know, playing against somebody, you know, it helps. Also, watching other people's videos, watching people's live streams, you know other people are, are out and about, right? So if you can't get outside, just seeing somebody's face on a live stream is better than nothing. So it hit 10 to 7, got ready to go out. Um, and um, it's the smells, the smells. When I was a kid, my granddad uh, used turpentine because he did um, painting. Turps, they called it, turpentine, white spirit. And it knocked me for six as a kid. Go up my nasal passages and fucking, I'd feel dizzy and faint. White spirit, turpentine when I was a kid. Years ago, my nan and grand had, um, had a coal fire. Do you remember the coal? Those poor guys that went down the coal mine to get coal and they'd come out black as soot. Well my nan and granddad back in the um, 70s and 80s had a coal fire. Coal stank. Coal. Strong smell of coal. My, na my granddad had a coal shed. God, we're going right back now to when I was a little tiny girl. My nan and granddad had a coal shed in their garden where they had coal delivered when I was a little girl. Um, yeah, back in the day. They also used to have a holly tree with holly berries in the garden. Um, you're taking me right back to when my nan and granddad lived at Forest Hill SE23 in London um, so yeah the smells I used to suffer from coughs nasal problems as a child and I was always like coughing and sneezing and white spirit turpentine stinks so does glue doesn't it glue make you feel high if all the windows are shut and someone's used super glue it stinks so smells have been without me throughout my life it's they make me dizzy they make me feel sick they make me feel weak so I goes out of the building I goes down the stairs with Max and there's a smell downstairs it's not perfume it smelt like, I don't know, strong cheese, a cheesy, creamy, 
like dairy smell. So I had this smell up my nose already, a really potent smell. I went out the back of the flat, so train was coming into Rochester Station. And um, I walked around the back of the flats. And as I was going around the corner to, to go where the blue crane is, this car pulls up that near the end flats at the bottom. And this woman comes out of the flat, she's a coloured lady with long black hair and I thought she was getting into the car because I just wanted to cross over the road. So the car then starts moving around the corner and this woman gets really like close to me, walks past me and she stinks of perfume reeks of it like she's covered in a whole bottle of it and my eyes start watering and they start stinging what happens is with me is when I inhale a strong perfume I breathe through my mouth my nan had the same problem right and it dries up your mouth when you breathe through your mouth your mouth gets dry and it goes down my throat so I breathed in all that perfume through my mouth because I can't breathe through my nose properly so I, all this perfume went down my throat and it sort of all made my throat dry it stung my eyes and I like couldn't see properly out my eyes they were watering and I had to cross the road So a strong perfume would also, if someone's got asthma, it like makes the, you know, the esophagus like, it makes your breathing tube like restricted, restricts your airflow. And you can have a wheezing attack. I don't actually suffer from asthma. I don't think I do. But it does affect my breathing, a strong scent. So I carried on walking with my eyes watering, being careful to cross the road. Walked along by the riverside and there was nobody at all. I'd seen about two people and I'd heard a kid shout, Daddy! From over the water, like... The sound travels, so I could hear this kid going, Daddy, Daddy. I carried on walking. There was one person walking up from the co-op way, and I didn't see anybody else at all. Two people I saw this evening when I went out for a walk about seven. Um, and then I just walked home, I got inside my flat and um, it's a form of control, trying to make somebody sick so they have to call somebody for help and when I was living at Victoria Road I used to keep running to my father, keep running to my dad because I felt sick all the time. My chest would be pounding. I thought I was having a heart attack. And it's not. It's the strong smells. The strong smells. You're manipulated. You're made to go and ask for help because you suddenly feel ill and sick. When I've been coping okay by myself. Do you see what I mean? The smells. The strong smells. The overpowering perfume and the hot, stinky smells right so I get into my flat it can also make you cross and angry you know You're struggling to breathe you get irritated so I'm, I'm sitting down on my sofa and I'm thinking, I know what's going to happen. They're going to start banging the ceiling. You know, thumping it with their feet. 
and we've had a couple a couple of times this evening you know all of a sudden someone bang the ceiling and you jump out your skin and it's not a heart attack it's where I breathed in that perfume and that horrible stink and it's tightened up my lungs it's made it feel all tight there so the lungs are there the heart's there the lungs are there so you, you could mistake it for having heart problems but it's the tightness of breathing through the lungs you see a strong smell going right down to your lungs and irritating your airway and your lungs really stinky strong perfume now if it's making me feel like I can't breathe the person wearing it what's it doing for them what's it doing for them like sticking a whole bottle of perfume over yourself it's not doing their lungs any good is it but I get a lot of that guys I get a lot of it Trying to make me sick. I've also got to go to the dentist next week, haven't I? I did tell you the antics people will get up to to try and make me ill so I can't uh, show everybody else what's going on. Because if I'm sick, I can't go outside with the camera, can I? That's what happens, and that's what happens every time he's got his kids upstairs. They will thump to the ceiling with their feet, and I'll, I'll get a pain in the chest, but it's not the heart, it's the lungs. Where I've breathed in stinky, disgusting perfume, and it's clogged up my airways and my lungs. It makes you feel very ill, some perfume. Some of some perfumes poisonous, but the intention of doing someone harm is not good, guys, is it? If you're putting perfume on because you want to put smother yourself in perfume, fair enough. But if you are going out purposely to make me ill and harm me, that's not going to look good for you, is it? Is it? And remember I was a little girl when all this was going on as well, a tiny little girl having to run to daddy for help because I felt sick. They're like witches mixing their smells up. No, I didn't phone my mum. What can my mum do? Nothing. So yeah, my chest feels tight. I've got a sore throat. I'm okay. It's a form of control. It's also very, very nasty to cause someone pain and harm. It's not a nice thing to do, is it? Witches! Anyway, this evening, I don't go out clubbing I don't drink I try and keep safe because if I'm being covered in perfume stench what's going to happen if I go into a pub or, a, or somewhere else on my own there's performance if I get taken to hospital all that performance I had when I had a blood transfusion at the Medway Maritime Hospital and those iron infusions, 
you know I had a bloke sat next to me on the couch bed he was on the next bed next to me he had Covid this bloke had Covid and the gas canister the oxygen canister exploded by my bed and it made a really loud noise it made me jump out of my skin and I was scared to be in that hospital and they were talking about the devil in there the devil is in the works it didn't seem like a hospital uh, bed at all it seemed like a joke and my one hand where one of the nurses stuck a needle in my vein it wasn't done properly and I remember my mum saying that she had scars on her veins or something where an injection hadn't gone into her hand properly so someone's trying to scar me ruin my legs I had to stand for five hours at the fireworks display my mum's got uh, bad varicose veins my mum Jennifer has her, her legs are covered in varicose veins so I was forced to stand for five hours at those, those that fireworks display without any chair over five hours waiting to see fireworks because my mum's got bad veins on her legs someone wants to ruin my legs ruin my hands punish me for something I haven't done and it doesn't work does it so I don't know why you keep trying to do it because if you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ he punishes the wicked punishes the wicked so anyone that's got intention to do me harm is, is going to get punished by God have a good evening you can't make somebody good turn bad whatever you try to do see you later